I, in this chapter, we're going to look into the, the concept of a class and object again. First, a class. A class can be defined as a template, as a blueprint that describes the behavior states. Uh, uh, hold on. Okay. That describes um, uh, the behavior state. The behavior will be method, the state will be property. Uh, and so. I'm explaining the class right now. Could you please mute yourself in case you do anything, please? All right, and objects. And objects are also have state and behavior, but it, it will be based on the class we design. So I'm going to put different example right here. Now let's uh, look deep into what the object uh, if we consider the real world, we can find many objects around us. Car, dog, human, blah, blah, blah. All these are objects. But any object has a state, has a behavior. If we consider a dog and the state, you know, the state means property will be the name, the breed, color, and the behavior will be the barking, uh, wagging the tail and running. So, if you compare the software object with a real world object, they have very simi similar uh, characteristics. Software objects also have a state and a behavior. A software object state is stored in a field and behavior is shown via methods. So in a software development, method operate in an internal state of the object, and object-to-object -object communication is done through the method. So we are going to do a uh, do, uh, right here we have example like class puppy, but I wanted to show you a we're going to do the first one uh, 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 dog example. Is that okay? So we're coming back right here. There are many examples, but we are going to uh, see this right here. Again, the state means the property behavior means the, uh, you know, the methods, right? So let's take a look one more time here. Uh, name of the dog, identity, and breed, age, and color, and right? And uh, once we uh, do this class dog, once you finish, okay? So dog one, dog two, dog three, they can do the, they can take their uh, state uh, attribute, breed, age, and color, and the behavior will be bark, sleep, and eat. Then once we have that, we can uh, do uh, duplicate. We can clone many dogs. So starting from here, if I have a class uh, dog, the state, is the attribute goes right here it's okay then go with a constructor because we need to initialize right all right so um this will be uh whatever we want to do then uh we have name but we're going to do a a, a default constructor too all right then uh, because this is a uh, uh, programming, I need to show you professional. So I need to show you like this. If you have a name, you need to must have a get name. Okay, get breed, get age, and then you have. Then you can to write to it and write to it. Then once you in here, you have a. Uh, your dog, whatever your dog name, and you put this file here, and you print. You can 
uh, uh, display the dog. We are going to do this together right now. Is okay? We are going to do this together. All right. So uh, we are going to do this together. So I. I uh, want you to have Eclipse right now. So the code is right here. The code is right here. And um, 